Greetings and salutations. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Wesley Webb, pastor of the Grace Baptist Church in Greater Downtown Metropolitan, Matby, South Carolina, and welcome to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. Now, I'm interested today in Revelation chapter 1, verses 9 down through verse number 19. And I know you know these verses, but I, I just want to read them to you. Uh, the Bible said, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and Smyrna, unto Pergamos, unto Thyatira, unto Sardis, unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of God, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. And his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. That's a lot of verses, I know that, but, uh, but I, I just want to point something out here. Uh, John said of his own admission that he had been exiled to Patmos uh, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, from my understanding, Patmos is a rocky, barren, desolate island where the Romans used to banish prisoners, deserting them there. Now, it's a place of doom, despair, desolation, discouragement, and eventually even death. But John is in the will of God for his life, according to his calling, when he was arrested, imprisoned, and banished to Patmos. But what he didn't know when he first arrived at Patmos was that God had perfectly positioned him to receive the revelation of Jesus Christ and of things to come. Even though he's a prisoner, even though he's been abandoned, even though he's in exile, the truth is he's been promoted to Patmos. It might not look like a promotion at first, but just wait until God is done with John there. It might not seem like a promotion at first, but wait and see what God reveals to him there. It may not seem like a promotion at first, but just wait and see how God meets with him there. We read a little bit of what John heard and saw, and that was just the beginning. When you take a step back and look at the bigger picture, John wasn't just exiled to Patmos as much as he was promoted to Patmos. So what's the lesson for us to learn here? Well, sometimes we just need to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. We may feel abandoned or exiled at any moment. We may feel the doom, despair, uh, the desolation, the discouragement, the depression of our current circumstances. We may feel like, even though we're in the perfect will of God, that we've been demoted. But when it's said and done, when we can see what God did, what God said, what God revealed of himself to us, how God met with us, we may realize that we were not demoted at all as much as we were promoted. John was promoted to Patmos. Well, that's all for today's Morning Minute Meditation. Y'all have a great day, and remember, it is what it is.